Yeah. How much did you pay? 70 quid! Let me see it. They are not Dre Beats, Steve. You've been done. Here, yeah, take them back. He's done ya, big time. I'll take you to the candy shop. i let you lick a lollipop. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. How are we all? It's Kev Ashford here, for Van Cam. A lot has happened since I last spoke to you. The West Ham result. I'm talking about the league game result. It wasn't great, was it? Another home draw. First time since the 80s at United have drawn four home games in a row. Not good enough, but at the same time, I'm not that worried. We are creating chances, we are playing football. It's better than it was under Van Aal. I don't care if Van Aal and David Moyes had two points more at this stage of the season. It doesn't bother me that the football is better and that's all you want to see as a fan going to Old Trafford. Yeah, we're missing a hell of a lot of chances, but these things iron themselves out. You don't expect a drought like that to go on. Well, I hope not anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm commenting on the West Ham match because we do play in midweek. Now, I've had to pre-record this video because I'm flying out to Ireland. It's actually Wednesday now, the day of United in the EFL Cup against West Ham. I'm going to Ireland for a wedding, which is on Friday. So, obviously, I'm not taking the wagon over the van. So, I couldn't do van cam. So, hope you appreciate this one. But... If we have won and beat West Ham, great. We're in the semi-finals of the EFL Cup. If we have and we haven't, it's only the EFL Cup, innit? It's what everybody else seems to do. The City fans did it, didn't they, when we beat them, innit? So we'll just jump along that bandwagon, but hopefully we've won. Anyway, I think the first thing I want to say is this Mourinho shit. He kicked a fucking water bottle, for Christ's sake. What is the big deal? Football. Is it any wonder that people just get so pissed off with football these days? You get a yellow card if you take your top off and celebrate. Jim Giggs are getting a yellow card in 99 for celebrating, you know, that last minute winner against Arsenal, scoring the goal of his life to send us through to Wembley on, on course for the treble. You get a yellow card for that now. You can't show passion, and that's what it was. Maybe frustration, a touch of that, but it ultimately it boils down to passion. Graham Pohl, he's a dickhead. On Talk Sport the other day, throw the book at Mourinho, give him a six-match ban. Six games for kicking a plastic water bottle. Are you off your head on glue? Graham Pohl, what an absolute dick. Six-game ban. Dembele got that for Tottenham last year when he tried gouging Costa's eyes out. He got six games. It's not in the same league as that. It's not. I don't care what anyone says. He kicked a plastic bottle. It's not like he'd thrown a beer bottle into the crowd, the away fans, or, you know, Eric Cantona jumping into the Crystal Palace fan, you know, bit of a kung fu kick. They need to look at themselves, the FA. At the minute, Mourinho's an easy target. Something like 200 grand they've made off him in fines. Easy target. Yeah, let's give him another fine. He's just kicked a water bottle. And Paul Parker on Talk Sport. He mentioned, he compared him kicking a, a water bottle to shooting a gun. He said, what's the difference? Paul Parker, man. Great footballer. Great little right back. Just to love you. Now you talk pure and utter shit. Shite. Sorry, what shit? To be the Irish because I'm going to Ireland this weekend. And then the next thing, Pogba. This obviously led to it in kicking the water bottle. Was it a dive? Or have I just got my red tinted specs on? Was he trying to get out the way of just a wild lunge by Noble? 
who was renowned for doing this kind of stuff. I honestly think he was trying to... He jumps out the way of it. It's just that his feet get taken from him as he's jumping back. So that's why it looked a bit theatrical. But if he would have stayed there and his legs would have been there, stuck in his boots are stuck in the grass, he could have broke his leg. And yet Pogba gets booked for it. The world is going mad. And it was, yeah, 1-1. One, one, not, it's not a great result. In fact, it's... It, it isn't a good result. It's not good enough. We need to be winning these home games. It wasn't long ago at the start of the season when people like Rio Ferdinand were saying that United had the fear factor back because we had Pogba and Ibrahimovic in the lineup. People are looking over at them and thinking, oh, don't fancy playing against them. Now they're just coming and they know how to play against us at the minute. But we are struggling to put the ball in the net. Like I said earlier, these things will iron themselves out. Pogba get so much criticism it's just it's it's not even needed and it's all because of the 89 million pound price tag if he has a good game the media right that oh, he's starting to you know pay off the the sum he's starting to look at you know the 89 million pound and then if he has a quieter game which by football standards is still very good oh what a waste of money it, never an 89 million pound player never never no, no, no. What does the lad have to do? Seems that if he's not scored one or two by half time, you know, he's he's finished. But that's it what eighty nine million pound does for you, isn't it? You're gonna be judged. And if he hadn't left United and he would have just come through our academy like he did without going to Juventus and he was an established first team player now, they'd be writing about Pogba. And saying that, that he's rise to fame and all that. And he's done so well. And he's cemented his place in the first team. Playing great football. I think Pop is doing sound. I think he's doing fine. So slide on all these arse wipes. That start carrying on about the price tag. Not asked about the price. I didn't pay it. It's not my money. The club wanted to spend it on him. And they get a hell of a lot out of him commercially. So that's why he appealed to them. All this Adidas bollocks and all that. I'm not getting into that. So I can't comment on the West Ham match, the EFL Cup, because I'm in Ireland. The wedding is Friday. So obviously, come Friday, I'm going to be there. Probably tie around my head, dancing around like a dip. But anyway, less of that. Sunday is Everton. It's going to be a tough game. Whether Everton are in form or not, we're hardly in any form, are we? And it's always a difficult ground to go. It's always tough. Atmosphere will be good. Uh, and one thing I cannot do, I've been told not to do it. Comments, comments. People telling me, lay off the extensive research section this week. I did it for Burnley, Liverpool, uh, Stoke... And then didn't, then three games, we drew them all. We didn't get a single win. And then reverted back to not doing it for the Swansea game, which we won. And then for some strange reason, for the crack, I just decided to do it last week for the West Ham game. And it, it's come back to bite me. I think people are starting to think now that it's me that's cursing it. You know, hashtag blame Asher, hashtag van man wanker. It was all out there to see. I've had to respond to it. So, to the masses, to the 200 people that watch this video. Uh, to the 200 people that watch this video. Because that's the kind of views I get. Uh, I'm not doing it. Maybe bring it back when, when when confidence is high and that. But at the minute, I cannot do it. Let's see what happens on Sunday. I think it's 4 o'clock, is it? But yeah, it's going to be a tough game. But, there's always a but, how can we not be confident? I think Mourinho needs to find a settled team now. I've never known him in his managerial career to make so many changes. I think it just goes to show that he really has misjudged the situation at United. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of people on the bandwagon there that are riding the gravy train. A lot of question marks over a lot of players. 
and some of them are just not asked. They're, they're not fighting for him. As long as they can pick up that money at the end of the week, piss around on Dean's Gate or whatever, go shopping around spinning fields and all that, they're just not asked, are they? Schweinsteiger's another one on the bench. He's on the bench, you know. Hopefully gets used in that EFL Cup game. Love Schweinsteiger, me. One of my all-time favourite players. And then Carrick. You use Carrick. You've got to play Carrick. It's hard to believe it's not Skulls. Carrick brings out the best in Pogba. And to suggest Mourinho... I'm not very critical of Mourinho, but one thing I will say is that he says that Michael Carrick can't play every week because he's, what, 35? He says that Schweinsteiger's finished because he's, what, 32? Slatan Ibrahimovic is, what, 35? Picking up 300 grand a week? He's played every single minute of every Premier League game he's been eligible for this season. The only one he was suspended for, Arsenal. Hey, Look into that one. Listen, I'm up to 11 minutes here talking absolute bollocks. What I want to say, the comments last week. Listen, right? We all have feelings. I'm only human, believe it or not. I'm a human being. So when people, two people, two it was, mentioned that I look like Peter Crouch. Listen, I've been at Old Trafford. I've been at Stoke. I've been giving the big man grief. I've been shouting freak. I've been singing, does the circus know your ear? Freak, freak, as he goes past, laughing. I've got feelings, man. I'm fully aware that Peter Crouch looks like a horse and is about nine foot tall, which makes him some kind of circus act. Don't tell me with the same brush. Like I said, I've got feelings. They get hurt now and again. But on a serious note, comments last week, all mint as usual. I'm not just saying that big headed or anything because anyone that watches Ips every week will know that I'm not that type of guy. But comments are always really good. You get the odd one that'll just say it's shit. But unless you back it up and tell me why or what your beef is, then I'm not, I am not. can't reply to it, sorry. And constructive wise i don't know how to make it better so maybe think about saying why it's shit but videos are always on the united stand they always feature on that so give them a subscribe follow all that nonsense and last week i give you the update i set up my own youtube well it didn't, it's been lying dormant for years just put united videos of away trips and all that on it but I thought, I might as well start knocking the van cams onto it. And I went from sort of 60 subscribers, just over 100. Happy with that. I threw out last week that if I could get 200 by Saturday night, I was going on the lash. I made 200. I had a right drink. I didn't actually go out, but in the house. Rough as a bear's ass on Sunday. It sounds sad, isn't it? I was celebrating getting 200 subscribers. Check my phone. I'm just under 300. I'm going to break the internet. I'm going to take over. Can't believe it, man. I'm sure at this minute I'm on 298. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like I said, to the stand. Subscribe to me, Kevin Ashford 7. Kevin Ashford Van Cam. Just search it on YouTube. Search it on Google. Do whatever you want. Subscribe, like, share. And the comment section. The whole reason I've done it on my own YouTube is so that I get notifications. So the minute somebody comments on my video, but it in like a text message. And it's there in one place. I can go, all right, mate. Yeah. No, I don't look like Peter Crouch. You know, something like that. But it's just all in one place for me. Let me know what you think. Comment section, as always. Get it going. I'm up to nearly 15 minutes now. Steve has been totally done today buying what he thought were Dre Beats, which I personally think are rear defenders and are worth about 20p. 
He's paid 70 quid. So I need to have a word with him. He needs to become more streetwise, this Steve. So I will have a word with him. A lot of people have always asked what Steve looks like. Watch last week's video. He was on the tower crane thing, the mechanical crane, acting a tool as always. I think I will... Hey, nice Sam. Hey. Jeez, you got nice face. Step away from the vehicle or you're getting Zlatan and Fozu Menzu wrapped around that forehead of yours. If you want some, I'll give it to you. Do you want to do with me? I'm Jack Do you mean want some? Want, want one of what? Do you want to do with me? I'm Jack Is this dickhead? Fuck's sake. Right, have a top weekend. Enjoy the games. Drink sensibly reasonable, whatever. If you're not into that kind of thing, just have a good one. Yeah? Subscribe. Remember. It's what it's all about. They keep telling me, subscribe. I've nearly got 300 of them. I cannot believe it. For United, on Sunday, against the Dorothy Scarsfers. Come on, United! Let's do this! It's all right. Never thought it would come to this